talking about technology. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's inner technology, and you have to understand what technology really is. You don't understand what technology is because every time we say technology, you're thinking this and that. No. Your body is the highest level of technology there is. That is what that is. And I don't, I don't have my paper with the, with the breakdown of the word right now, and I, I can't remember. But anyway, I define it on my website. I've broken it down according to um, techno and, and, and the other aspects of the word in terms of what it really does mean. And technology is really about taking energy and forming it into whatever it is, energy, whatever it is you're choosing to form it in. That's really what technology is. And your body is that. Your body is so equipped and so powerful in the sense of, of your capabilities, in the sense of, 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 of waking up and mastering. I'm not, the word mastering isn't the word I really want to use, but really being able to, um, to interchange matter, antimatter, being able to do that. This is what this is about. This is about you understanding how to take matter, how to take energy and shape it and mold it. And that begins with you, with your body, with your mind, with your brain. It's all, it's all technology, but it's divine technology. And it's that divine technology that has created these planets and the universe and all the other universes that exist that you don't hear about. We exist as systems within systems. So it's one system into another system into another system. Many, many echoing, echoing. And what we are, what we are right now, we are the echo of future timelines. And when we talk about Sirius or these planets, these other um, yeah, planets being light years away, you know, we're, we're simply speaking of, 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 of timelines, of, of, of other timelines, but we don't really see it that way. Timeline is based on, uh, when I say timelines, it's based on uh, s uh, distance, um, uh, speed. You know, we're talking velocity because speed, the faster something spins, um, as I used the, the fan as an anal analogy, I think, the other day, when you have it on low speed, you can see it. And you medium, you can still see it. But as it escalates as you put it up to high and if you could turn it up even more it disappears it's not it's not an impossibility to understand it disappears so that's why you don't see all the other things that are here in this space because they're they're vibrating at a different exactly at a higher rate of speed well your body is supposed to be able to do that so you can go anywhere that you choose to the only difference is when somebody said last week about uh, living forever, that's the misconception. Every time we think of that, we think we're here in this timeline. We think we're here, always in this body. No, you're not. You are evolving. You are ascending. You are ascending to different levels. That's what's going on. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you were saying... You're ascending to different levels, and that's what needs to be understood. Now, we hear a lot of the New Age talk, they're talking about ascending and ascending, and I'm like, okay, but okay, where, where are you going? We, what, where, are you, where are you going? I don't hear anybody telling me anything. We're, ju oh, we're just ascending. <laughs> you know, but the thing is, there is ascension of the soul, and then there's ascension of the physical body. And I think I talked about that a little bit last week. Sometimes I don't remember what I said. But um, there's, so there's, there's those two uh, ascensions which, you know, they become one. They, they really do become one. But the reason why you want your body to move into that, to go along with that, is because the ultimate... The ultimate learning experience here as human beings in third density in this physical body is really to master matter, is to go, whoo, I got it, whoo, I got it. And then you are soaring and you are taking on a physical, a vehicle according 
to where you've ascended to, to those points, those pockets of, of time or no time. If, if you are in a reality that is pure light or sound, that's what you will be. You will operate from that perspective. But it doesn't mean that your body has decayed. It does not mean that. It just simply means that the molecules of your body have shifted. They have, they have folded up. They are moving so fast. But they move fast in, in terms of moving into the consciousness of that particular field of time that you're operating in. And these are things that are so important to understand because when you understand this, when you start to get this, you start to turn your body back on. You start to, to reactivate your body. And so when, when they talk about um, the Merkaba and... Uh, sacred geometry and, and some of these things and and I hear a lot of rehearsed practiced things and, and and it's not about that it's not about just practicing a particular movement like that yeah you have to be fluid with it you have to flow with the transition so it's not just about practicing the step and flow and if I and that's probably why I didn't do workshops because it would have worn me out I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to deal with the systems like that. But what I have learned that it is about fluidity and you don't have to worry about becoming. You don't have to worry about that when you get it. You don't have to go, um, like somebody asked me uh, on a radio show uh, some time ago, um, how do I charge up my melanin? <laughs> And I understood the innocence with that. But you can't fragment yourself like that. It's the whole being. It's the whole being. Your consciousness is what's coming in and then reigniting your body, your cells. Your body will just go along with that higher vibrating consciousness mm -hmm. and do what it needs to do, providing that you are aware that this is what's supposed to happen. But when you begin to fracture yourself like that, and like the doctor, you're going to fix this thing, and then that thing, and that thing. It doesn't work like that. This, this system works together. It works together. And the reason for the, um, I was going to say, the reason for the, the decaying process, and it just went out of, I mean, I have it here, but there's a specific thought I wanted to, to mention about that. Um, I should just slip my mind. But anyway, the, the reason for the decaying process is the shutting down or the, the, the limitation then of, the, um, of, of knowledge. When you learn what you learn and it becomes just memorized information, your pineal gland, um, the pituitary gland, they all begin, they are all reacting to that because their job is to feel life, is to feel fluid energy moving through. And when they don't feel that, when they feel memorized information, a library of information, and you're just picking up more information, but it's memorized. You're, you have to become the information. That's right. You have to be the information. Exactly. You, exactly. Because you are technically... A, your transmitter and your, and your receiver. But technically, what you are is information. That's really what you are. You are information from beginning to end, gathering data for creation. Uploading, downloading, you're like, okay, this is what I understand. Oh, boy, it, you know, broke my heart, don't like it. Upload. <laughs> 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 you know, and all of these things are the experience, the experiments, and you go and you, and they upload, and, and the bigger picture creation is like, okay, got this, got this, got this, and at some point, you're, you're done. At some point, you're like, okay, gotta, gotta move to something else now, gotta move to something else, but we don't do that. We just stay in it, and some of us will find a way to just repeat more of the same thing over and over. How then can your body live through that? Why would your body stay, why would your body then go, okay, we're, we're in, and we're just gonna flow. We're just gonna flow with time. It can't. 
Because it's your brain that's sending the message to all of your cells and your, your, the rest of your entire body. It's your brain that's doing that. And your brain is taking the information from where? From your thoughts, intent. And that's where the thoughts come from. From your intent, from your perception. And what does it do? It enters through the head into the, the, um, the brain, into the, through the uh, ventricles of the brain, down into the spinal fluid, and right into the rest of the body. And so your spinal fluid bathes the entire body, bathes all your cells. So all those thoughts, they're bathing your cells. So that's really what's going on. And your brain is deciding as to the length of time that the body is kept alive based on your understanding and the brain says, well, it looks like we're done. <laughs> That's really what happens. It, it, it says it looks like we're done here. <laughs> There's really not much else coming in that's new, and you're not really connecting outside of this time. You are caught in the finite matrix. And the thing is, to move beyond that, you can interact with the finite matrix, but you're not the, you don't become the finite matrix anymore. You're not that. You are an agent, and you're operating here, there, wherever you want to operate. That's what it's about. Not just operating here, because this reality is for that particular experience to, to come in, to do what you do, to, to be controlled, to do this, to be that, da, 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 all the stuff that you've gone through. And then, if, this, if the system is lucky, you will go right back on that reincarnation wheel and you will come right back in here again. You will keep coming back. You just keep recycling here. And so you have memories and you have all of these feelings of, of things that you, um, people, you know, that you feel that you've met before, all, all of those experiences. But you just keep coming back in for that. So it's a matter of being able to, to, to really wake up to that understanding and understand more about time, the concept of time, how time is regulated. And for all the people that weren't here last week, um, I had mentioned that I was walking on the beach one day and uh, the word time appeared before me and, and I saw a hyphen in between and it said T-I hyphen M-E, which means to tie me, to restrict me. It's, it's, it's restriction, but then when you reverse the word, it spells emit. Emit means to flow. Now, in physics, it is understood that cre you, creation or physicality exists as both a, a wave, waves like, like this, and a particle. So it's wave and particle. So that means it goes into waveform and then it becomes a particle. Well, that's time. That, that's time. That's what, how time is supposed to operate. You seize the moment, which is what this is. This is but a moment. It just seems like forever. We're really only living a moment. So you seize that, and you freeze it. But we've frozen it, and we're like, okay, we're, we're just going to stay right here. We've frozen this. This is good. We're comfortable with it. This is what we know. We've been doing this for a while. That's it. That's all there is. No, then, of, the, um, of, of knowledge. When you learn what you learn, and it becomes just memorized information, your pineal gland, um, the pituitary gland, they all begin, they are all reacting to that because their job is to feel life, is to feel fluid energy moving through. And when they don't feel that, when they feel memorized information, a library of information, and you just picking up more information, but it's memorized. You're, you have to become the information. That's right. You have to be the information. Exactly. You, exactly. Because you are technically a, your transmitter and your, and your receiver, but technically what you are is information. That's really what you are. You are information from beginning to end, gathering data for creation. Right. Uploading downloading, you're like, okay, this is what I understand. Oh, boy, it, you know, broke my heart, don't like it. Upload. 
<laughs> you know, and all of these things are the experience, the experiments, and you go and you, and they upload, and, and the bigger picture creation is like, okay, got this, got this, got this, and at some point, you're, you're done. At some point, you're like, okay, gotta, gotta move to something else now, gotta move to something else, but we don't do that. We just stay in it, and some of us will find a way to just repeat more of the same thing over and over. How then can your body live through that? Why would your body Stay, why would your body then go, okay, we're, we're in and we're just going to flow. We're just going to flow with time. It can't because it's your brain that's sending the message to all of your cells and your, your, the rest of your entire body. It's your brain that's doing that. And your brain is taking the information from where? From your thoughts, intent. And that's where the thoughts come from, from your intent, from your perception. And what does it do? It enters through the head into the, the, um, the brain, into the, through the uh, ventricles of the brain, down into the spinal fluid, and right into the rest of the body. And so your spinal fluid bathes the entire body, bathes all your cells. So all those thoughts, they're bathing your cells. So that's really what's going on. And your brain is deciding as to the length of time that the body is kept alive based on your understanding and the brain says, well, it looks like we're done. <laughs> That's really what happens. It, it, it says it looks like we're done here. <laughs> There's really not much else coming in that's new and you're not really connecting outside of this time. You are caught in the finite matrix. And the thing is, to move beyond that, you can interact with the finite matrix, but you're not the, you don't become the finite matrix anymore. You're not that. You are an agent, and you're operating here, there, wherever you want to operate. That's what it's about. Not just operating here, because this reality is for that particular experience to, to come in, to do what you do, to, to be controlled, to do this, to be that, da 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 all the stuff that you've gone through. And then... If, this, if the system is lucky, you will go right back on that reincarnation wheel and you will come right back in here again. You will keep coming back. You just keep recycling here. And so you have memories and you have all of these feelings of, of things that you, um, people, you know, that you feel that you've met before, all, all of those experiences. But you just keep coming back in for that. So it's a matter of being able to, to, to really wake up to that understanding and understand more about time, the concept of time, how time is regulated. And for all the people that weren't here last week, um, I had mentioned that I was walking on the beach one day and uh, the word time appeared before me and, and I saw a hyphen in between and it said T-I hyphen M-E, which means to tie me, to restrict me. It's, it's, it's restriction, but then when you reverse the word, it spells emit. Emit means to flow. Now, in physics, it is understood that cre you, creation or physicality exists as both a, a wave, waves like, like this, and a particle. So it's wave and particle. So that means it goes into waveform and then it becomes a particle. Well, that's time. That, that's time. That's what, how time is supposed to operate. You seize the moment, which is what this is. This is but a moment. It just seems like forever. We're really only living a moment. So you seize that and you freeze it. But we've frozen it and we're like, okay, we're, we're just going to stay right here. We've frozen this. This is good. We're comfortable with it. This is what we know. We've been doing this for a while. That's it. That's all there is. No. So now, so now, what I was speaking to you about before with the, um, with, with the fluidity, it's being able to understand that, and then your creations are always supposed to, you experience them, and then you, they flow. You, you, they flow into something else. They become something else. But you have to allow your creation to become something else instead of freezing it like that, because when you freeze it like that, that's what happens. You, the, the, right, the decay process, all of that starts, it starts.